In this video, I'll be showing you how to play Ninja Legends 2, and that includes how to trade, how to get pets, how to get karma, and how to permanently unlock islands. So make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more videos here, because I'm going to make a lot of videos here. And if this video gets a lot of likes, then I'll probably do some more guides and some more code videos. So make sure to like this video, but... Uh, I guess the max element thing is just gonna be up for me this entire time. Oh, by the way, I got the last rank and I didn't go up to the other islands yet. But, yeah, I guess I'll get started. So, the first thing is trading. So, if you go over to trade and you already have it unlocked, then you'll see some people have it locked. Now, you can turn your trades off, which locks it. But a lot of people have it locked because they haven't unlocked trading yet. So, how you unlock trading is you have to get... 2 million coins and you trade by pressing the trade button right here but 2 million coins is actually pretty fast like i recorded whenever i started the game in my last video and it took about 10 minutes to get that many coins so you should be able to do that quickly and then the next thing is how do you get pets well you have to go over to the orbs so on this first island there's an electro orb and you have to get shards, and you get shards by either going to the volcano all the way over there, or you can just use codes, which I recommend. Do not use codes in the beginning. They're not going to help you that much. But use codes, like, after you've already been playing for a while. Because if you are max ranked like I am, if you use a code, it's going to be insanely overpowered. So just save your codes. And I did a video on all codes. So, uh, there's going to be a playlist linked in the description, and whenever there are new codes, I'll add my code videos to that playlist. So, check that if you want to see all codes. But, yeah, you can get gems, or you can get shards by doing that, and also by doing quests. So, if you look around the map, you'll see some NPCs. Like, there's an NPC on most of the islands, I think, or most of the worlds. And then there's an NPC right here. You have to be a certain rank to unlock that, though. But quests are kind of bad, except for the final island quest, because that gives you tokens, and tokens are good. But yeah, if you just wander around the map, you'll find NPCs that have question marks above their head, and then you can get quests. So right now I have a lot of quests, and you see a lot of them give shards. So you can get shards easily by doing that. Especially the pet evolving, because that is like very easy to do, but you have to have pets first for that. But yeah, just go around, do quests, go to the volcano, do the thing there, just camp on the top of the volcano. And then that's how you get pets. Then there's another orb on each island. If you just look around a little bit, you'll find it. It's like right out in the open. And then next, how do you get karma? So you get karma by eliminating other players. So if they have a blue name tag, they are going to give bad karma because that means they're good. And if you eliminate them, then that makes you bad, so you're gonna get bad karma. If they have a red name tag, they give good karma, because that means they're bad, and then it's good, and then yeah, so just good karma from them. If they're neutral, which is a right, which is a white name tag, they give bad karma most of the time. Sometimes the neutral people give good karma, but that might just be a glitch, since it makes sense that eliminating a neutral person would give bad karma. When they're eliminated, the karma will spawn. And then, like, I have some friends in my server, so I'm just gonna say, come over to cell. Okay, so, uh, bro, my friend, okay, there we go. So, yeah, it does that, and then you just press E to collect it, or if you're on mobile, you can, like, tap it or something. Not entirely sure how that works, but you see how there's, or, well, light and dark karma, bad, good karma, basically the same thing. But, yeah, that's how you get karma. And then next, how do you permanently unlock planets? So this is probably the best thing you want to do. So how you unlock planets is you have to rank up. Well, you can unlock them just by like jumping up to them, but permanently unlock them by ranking up. So if you go over here, evolving, there are like multiple words to describe what you have to do. And I'm like remembering all the stuff from the Ninja Legends of 1 because it was rank up. And then, yeah, so... The seventh rank is going to unlock the first one. It unlocks planet Zephyr. I don't know if I said that right, but this unlocks the first one. And then 
there are only a few ones after that, so they're gonna add more ranks later, which are most likely going to have uh, more of the stuff that you can do, like, it's gonna unlock more training areas, unlock more quests, and unlock more permanent planets. So every time you rank up after you get one, you're gonna keep that planet. And they're definitely gonna add more planets later, so it's important they have that so that you don't have to, like, go up 20 planets every time. That was kind of a big problem in Ninja Legends 1 and kind of annoying. So they kind of fixed everything. And it's better now. Oh wait, the Volcano Time leaderboard doesn't even have, like, that many ranks on it like i could probably get on that leaderboard easy i'm probably i'm probably gonna try to get on the kill leaderboard though because it's like the top is 2000 kills but i might even do live streams here so make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on so you don't miss any videos here or live streams or stuff and like the video but i'm probably just gonna like try to get all the best stuff you can so that no one can kill me whenever i go over there but there are a few more things in this game you can do. So daily rewards are kind of bad, like coins are bad, but then the shards are good and other stuff. So if you already played this for a day, and then you come back the next day, then you can get shards by doing that. And then there are training areas, so it's gonna say what rank you have to have above it. So, like, I think, I don't know if this one you have to have a rank for, but I know the other ones you have to have a rank for. And it's gonna boost you a little bit. It's not really that effective though. Like, you still have to sell a lot. So if you're just starting to play, then it's gonna take a while for you. But like, the training area is not gonna work for you unless if you have the rank it says you need for it. And then whenever you get enough pets, then you can click them. And then mine are already max evolution. But you can press the evolution button thing and then you're able to evolve them, and they're gonna be way better when you do that. So if you can choose between like getting one expensive orb or a whole bunch of cheaper orbs, get the cheaper ones and then just evolve them, and that is going to be way better. So I think that's everything that you guys need to know about Ninja Legends 2. There are some more things in the game, but they aren't really that big. Like whenever you climb islands, a lot of people make this mistake, so you need to go on these things, but whenever you go on them, jump so that it sends you up a lot. Because if you don't go on those, then, well, it's gonna make you not go up that high, and you're probably gonna fall down, and it's kinda annoying whenever you climb the islands, because, like, you're gonna fall so much, because not only are there turrets, but some of the things are so far away... And I can get to the top island in about 5 minutes right now, which, well, that doesn't seem too bad. But it is a little annoying because you have to get, like, every single rank, and that's gonna be a lot of climbing. But it does take a while to get to the next island because of that. Or actually, it probably only takes maybe a minute or maybe even 30 seconds to get to the next one. Yeah, I could probably do that faster than 5 minutes, but still... It's just kind of annoying whenever you climb islands. But that's why permanent unlock is important. And I guess that's everything I should mention. So good luck in Ninja Legends 2. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on and like the video. Or I'll see you all in the next video.